Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is Tech Dive TV Help Desk. This is episode 32 of Tech Dive TV Help Desk, and today we're talking about repairing your laptop or computer and the utilities I like to use to do just that. Now, if your computer isn't booting, meaning it's not starting up, perhaps there's something wrong with your hard disk. Could be. Well, how do you boot your computer if your computer won't boot? Well, if you have a CD drive or a USB drive, you can boot from those. But what are you going to boot off of? Well, there's an operating system called Knoppix, K-N-O-P-P-I-X. I have a link for it right down at the bottom here with the other utilities I'm going to talk about. Knoppix is a Linux distribution that boots from a CD. So all I have to do is create a CD, stick it in your CD drive, restart your computer, and it'll boot from the CD and boot up Nopix. Now, Nopix is a graphical uh, operating system, much like Windows or the Macintosh operating system. And so you get icons and everything. So you can actually boot up your computer from your CD. You can check and see if you can access your hard drive that way, because it will see your hard drive just like Windows sees your hard drive. And if it does, uh, perhaps you just need to repair Windows, and then you need your original Windows disk. <clears throat> Another utility I like to use uh, is not a free utility. I mean, it costs like $49, but it has saved my bacon and some of my customers' bacon a lot. Um, and that is the Active Password Changer. Um, the Active Password Changer, uh, the current version works on Windows 8, 7, XP, and Vista. So pretty much will <clears throat> handle all your password needs if you're a Windows user, and that's what it's for. It's for Windows only. It doesn't help with Mac. It doesn't help with Linux. But the Active Password Changer will actually allow you to boot from a CD. In this case, it'll be a Windows-type operating system, just the bare bones of Windows. And it has a utility that you can go into your directory and change the password if you've forgotten it. Or maybe you need an administrator password for something, but you, when you set up your computer, you never remembered setting an administrator password. This will allow you to set one or clear the one that's there. Now, this works on personal computers. It doesn't work on business network computers because the passwords are stored in a different location on businesses. So don't think, ooh, I'll buy this and change the password on my computer in the business. No, it's not going to work that way. It's not what it's for. Only for personal computers. Um, another utility that I like to use if somebody has like malware is SpyBot Search and Destroy. Again, the link is down there. SpyBot Search and Destroy is free. It'll actually find all the malware on your machine and get rid of it. And you just leave it installed. It'll update itself much like a virus protection software and keep malware off your machine. Now, malware isn't necessarily viruses. Uh, for viruses, I like to use Microsoft Security Essentials. The link down there. Now, it's free. Uh, if you use Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7, absolutely free. If you use Windows 8 or higher, it's already included in the operating system. You don't need to download it and install it. But it will get rid of a lot of viruses for you, and it also automatically updates. And it, as I said, it's free. You don't have to pay every year to renew it. It's absolutely 100% no money from you. So with Nopix, you can reboot your PC and into another operating system to see if your hard drive's okay. With the Active Password Changer, you could change your password if you needed to. It also has some, some file utilities, so you can see if your hard drive was acting correctly on that one as well. Uh, and there's SpyBot, Search and Destroy to get rid of your malware, and Microsoft Security Essentials to get rid of those nasty little viruses. So check them out. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV and Tech Dive TV Help Desk. You have a great day.